world ranking tournament of the new season. Ken Doherty, when the old season ended, was unsure about whether he'd even be playing because he dropped off the main tour but was given a wild card by World Snooker to continue. And my word, he's made the most of it. Thank you. The Beat Anthony frame. McGill this morning, 4-2. Steve Maguire was involved in a bit of a thriller with Andrew Higginson, won that one 4-3. The other semi-final between Mark Williams and Ryan Day will start in a few minutes and it'll be live on the Eurosport player. So 2011 Australian Open, the last ranking event semi-final appearance for the man at the table, Ken Doherty. But Maguire as well is looking for titles. He's not won a ranking event since the 2013 Welsh Open. Yes, he's also looking to get back into the top 16. At the moment, he's ranked number 24. But he's got a chance of getting back in the top 16 with this tournament. And especially if he gets to the final. That would be a great achievement for him. Although, I don't know if he got a kick there, which took the pace out of the cue ball. Yeah, it appears so. It sounded a little kicky. And it's left Ken with a chance here to the middle. Oh, he's overcut it. And may have left a plant. Certainly left a red to the left corner. Which is probably the better red to take. Gets him to the black. And can save that plant if it is a plant. The head-to-head -head favours Doherty 5-3, but the only recent meeting was uh, German Masters 2016. Maguire won that one 5-1. Something about this tournament, though, because last year eight. Darren Morgan got to the semis. Darren, former world number eight and Irish Masters champion, but uh, actually an amateur now, but won a qualifying event to get into the tournament. And got all the way to the semis before losing to Neil Robertson. Nine. Could have just 16. nudged a couple of reds open there. It had been on choice of reds to left and right corner. And didn't need to go into them hard, just give them a little nudge, maybe develop another couple. Seventeen. Tempted to go into them that time, and now we'll find out if those two reds are a plant. 24. Wasn't a natural angle and to try and force the cue ball into the reds. Well, 
well it appears that it's not a plant otherwise it would have been down before now playing the shot Steve McGuire 24 and could have had that cue well closer to the cushion Again, he got the pace wrong there. He played thick off the reds. But the pace, very, very quick. Well, it was a long way off pocket he played it into but if he's finished on the black to the middle that's a result now looking at the safety and a chance to bring the pink into play here's the attempted long pot again in off the brown At least he apologised. Pink ball. Well, and that's not Steve a good McGuire. safety. He's, he's had three safety shots, and he hasn't played any of, any of them very well. In fact, this time he's left a chance for Kent. It's a bit of a nervy start, this. They're missing by some way actually yeah you can feel it can't you it means a lot to both players yeah two players who throughout their careers are used to this stage of tournaments but maybe haven't been there for a while well that's a good pot with the rest excellent pot that and played it well for the black. Now I may play a little cannon into the reds to try and hold for that red to the right corner. Red by the pink spot, ideally. Caught the other reds. Eight.
Fine. Yeah, well, that's not too bad. Straight on the yellow with the red to follow. I've always rated Stephen Maguire very highly. Eleven. And so did Roy O'Sullivan. I remember him saying that he was going to dominate the game after winning the UK Championship. Well, didn't quite work out, but in my opinion, he's been a terrific player. Very aggressive. I can't believe he's not in the top 16. Problem is, there's too many good players. There's more than 16 top 16 players. There is. <laughs> Probably about 30, we would have a claim. And we've seen, even with someone like Neil Robertson, if your form dips a little, your confidence dips and bit of sharpness goes, it can, can be a struggle to get it back. Yeah, because you're playing great players all the time. So you've got to be near the top of your form all the time to keep your ranking. It's got such great cue power, Stephen Maguire. 16. And that was a nice little shot he played there. Screwing off the reds, developing the reds, finishing the right side of the blue. Well, the white again seemed to jump that. Never wore a bow tie, as far as I can remember, Stephen Maguire. Yes, he has a medical exemption. Twenty-two. Of course, he was in the uh, World Championship quarter-finals at the end of the season. He had to qualify, won three matches and beat Anthony McGill 10-2, Rory McLeod 13-3 before losing to Barry Hawkins 13-9. But it was a good way to end the season. Yeah, and he's brought that confidence with him getting to the semi-final of this event. It's a great start, finish and start for Stephen Maguire because looking at the rankings, he's in the top 16 now. And he'd be even more so if he could win this match. Twenty-nine. Didn't quite come far enough with the cue ball after potting the red. I thought he would have gone into the reds. The three reds there. He'd have still been on this red to the right corner. But that's, again, a very, very good recovery. Now, does one of these reds go into one of the corners? He's going to be 60 in front with the blue. So another red would do it. And he's on one. Played it beautifully. Just a little touch that's on fine. the reds. Yes, there are a few full starts in this frame, but this is more like it from... Glasgow, Steve Maguire. Just checking the scores. The red means that Doherty needs a snooker. Thirty-six. But want to make sure of this though, because as I say, it's only one. It becomes two with the blue. Yes, and with the red over the pocket. Forty one. Forty two. So that should be one nil. Forty-five. 
He's won five ranking titles, three minor ranking titles. Fifty. Fifty-one. And he's settled uh, the quicker of the two. As I say, there's a few errors early on, but you can forgive nerves. At this stage of a tournament, the field has thinned out considerably, just four players left. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that he's um, finished off with this 15. good break because it may start conducting to the right frame of mind. What we didn't want to do is the missing to carry Steve on. Stephen Maguire, 58. The frame. Well, it's good 58 from Stephen Maguire to get this semi-final underway. First to five to reach tonight's final here at the Riga Masters and it's advantage... Scotland in the early stages, Steve Maguire leads Ken Doherty 1-0. Frame two of a possible nine. They have started next door as well in the first frame in the all-Welsh affair between Mark Williams and Ryan Day. Well, a good 58 break from Maguire to win that opening frame. One. Only good pot, but the kiss wasn't favourable. And got to hide those two reds Rumble. by the right corner. Maybe try and get the cue ball on the cushion behind the yellow. Kandati, one. <clears throat> Looks okay. Well, that's gone badly wrong. And this is a chance now for Doherty to do what Maguire did in the first frame, and that's settle into the match. Yes, missed the red on the way down. One. Uh, phone going off in the, audi in the audience. Well, again, I thought it had played it's for the red to the right corner. Get, got the black back on its spot. Seven. Wrong side of the blue, but it is okay. There's a red next to the yellow.
Twelve. And nice angle on the green. Come down towards the reds. And he could decide to go into them with the advantage of that red to the right corner pocket. Doesn't need to go into them hard. Or he could play for one of the loose reds. Choices are his. Played to go into them. Oh, when he missed them. But he's very fortunate. In a sense, he is anyway. He's pushed the black a little nearer to the cushion. Which makes it difficult to play for. If it... If he was at the top of his game, he might try and play for the black. Seventeen. Sure. The referee is uh, from Germany, Theo Selbertinger, and uh, when he got here in the week to start, he got here. Unfortunately, his, his gear didn't, so he was unable to referee early on because he's quite a tall chap, as you see. It's not like he can just borrow. Close from someone else, but thankfully it's turned up now. Just in time for the final day. Twenty-two. Well, again, he's got the choice of playing for the black there from that red. Just to the left of the pink, or he could play up for the blue. Looks like the blue. Twenty-three. time he does play for the red that would get him to the black but as I say it's not easy this black but if he was playing with full confidence I'm sure he'd play for the black doesn't want to be dead on the cushion that looks just about right to screw the cue ball back for the red but got to be careful. He's nodding because he knows this is tough. Yeah, good shot. Appreciated by the crowd. 36. And this is where I think Steve Maguire playing well in the last frame helps because he knows he can't afford to miss. 37. And now gonna enhance his own game yeah and I think sometimes your know, nerves can be contagious but once one player settles the other one invariably does as well yeah exactly 44 good reply this so far but now needs to leave an angle on the black or the blue to be able to Going to the reds, unless there's a plant there. There could be a plant to the left corner. Potify. Left an angle. He could play the cannon to the red above and to the right of the black. Oh, he's missed it. Had he got the cannon, he'd have developed that red and left himself on another left one. Now he's looking at the plant. I think he should have looked at that before and yeah it's not far away he's got to make it but should be able to hold for the black now where's it going to finish well it's the chance for Steve Maguire 52 good 52 though 53 the lead, 75 still on though.
Well, that was a tough shot with the rest, especially playing it the way you did, screwing the cue ball back down the table. Tough shot. Yeah, and that was tough as well. Had a nice kiss on the on the yellow to finish nicely on the blue with another red to come. And that's all he'd need. Blue and the red. Another couple of inches would have been better. Six. Seven. Well, a bit of a reprieve for Doherty with Maguire missing the red, but uh, in general, it's great to see the Dubliner looking so sharp. Two snookers needed, so he, he might just play on. Good job it Five. didn't run just another fraction, and the blue respotted. And Doherty, 12. 65. The difference, 59 on. Well, that's it now. He'll, he'll let him carry on. Because that's the convention, but... Uh, Gives Doherty just another chance to pull a few balls and just get, you know, get used to the table. Yeah, very kind of him to do that because a lot of players One. don't nowadays, but a nice little bit of etiquette there from Stephen Maguire. Eight. Nine. Little cannon to the red and pink. Uh, not full enough. Doesn't matter though. 16. Now, as I say, 17. he's looking sharp. I thought that when we did, did his first match against Gary Wilson on Friday, he won that 4-0. He beat Robin Hull 4-2, Zhang Ander 4-2, and of course, Anthony McGill one of the rising stars of the game, 4-2 earlier today. So some 24. real good wins there. 25. 27. 29. Thirty-two. Thirty-six. Yeah, he's queuing nicely. And just showing us what he can do when the pressure's off. And of thirty-six in the frame. Yeah, battle joined. Maguire won the first frame with a break of fifty-eight. A break of fifty-two did the damage for Ken Doherty in the second. A really interesting start to this semi-final. They're all square in Riga, one frame all. Quarter-final went on a bit, but uh, this is just how the first frame ended. Ryan Day, of course, his opponent. Nine. And Ryan Day looking for his first ranking title of his career. As you can see, taking the first frame. This is live on the Eurosport player. Fourteen. The second table. As I say, in a week's time, they'll be partnering one another in the World Cup 20. for Wales. And the first Williams was a semi finalist last year here. He lost in this stage to Michael Holt. The third frame. Ken Doherty to break. So Ken Doherty's won the second frame of a possible nine in the semi final.
Well, he needed a little bit of luck there, and he got it. And it could be a re rack miss. Just playing off the cushion into the reds. Well, the jaws of the yellow pocket could be a target. If he tries to get in behind the yellow, he could leave the red on. Well, that's what he's trying to do, get in behind the yellow. But he's covered the red a fraction harder, and he's left the red on. That was a, a little bit of a risk there from Stephen Maguire, but it's worked out. Well, he holds his hands up, but he's left a chance at this red. It's a thin one. He's had a look at the potting angle. He knows it's thin. Could come off the left side cushion and land up to it, but may leave the red to the right middle. Oh, I've caught it much too thick. Much too thick. Had to be just the paint. So, a chance for Kent. One. That seemed to be a big bounce off the ball cushion. Six. Seven. Well, he's got a couple of loose reds. He's also got the ideal angle to go into them. There's a nice gap there between the pink and reds. They're playing for the loose ones. And again, it could have got a big bounce there. Twelve. Sounded heavy. Kandati, 12. Disappointed, but at least he has covered the red. Full ball. Maybe able to swerve off the cushion and pot the red. No attempt.
Well, I think the red must go to the middle because he's looking at playing for the black from it. It's a tough pot this and he's got to cover that red over the corner. Maybe a chance at the double here for Stephen Maguire. Can he be tempted by this red? It's a tough one. I'm most certainly going to leave the red on with that right corner if he misses it. That's a good pot. That's an excellent pot because he couldn't hold for the colours to the corners. Yeah. Got another kick there. could do with leaving himself with an angle on one of the colours to disturb the reds. Five. And that hasn't worked out. Yellow Green ball. stopping the angle on the yellow. Or is it? No, you can get to it. So this is absolutely perfect. Again, it could have been kinder. Seven. That's a couple of times he's been into the pack, not finished on anything. Maybe a little bit more speed. Can I do seven? Well, they're excellent shots. When the red's close to the cushion like that, very difficult to get the cue ball back down the table. So easy to catch them thick. And that was a good shot from Steve Maguire. And a good return from Dockers here. I don't think it's a snooker. A fraction more, than I think it would have been. Well, he's got him. Once again, it's a little heavy that he's left a chance at the corner for Kent. Oh, 
so close. And he knew he was leaving a red on the way he played it. It looked in this. He stayed right down. He wasn't sure to the last minute. Just catches the jaw. One. Six. Seven. Uh, not ideally on the pink, so may play for that red in the bark area. Thirteen. Well, that's opened the reds up, giving himself a good chance of winning the frame at this visit now. Twenty. Didn't quite come far enough, so having to take the more difficult red. Twenty one. That's a good recovery, and nicely on the blue to play down for that red in the bulk area. Well, there's the pot success so far. It's favouring Maguire, as you see, quite comfortably. Can be a bit misleading, though, because in the previous frame, he only missed one ball, but it was a key one, because Doherty had broke down, Maguire missed a red with the rest, six. and that was end of frame. So it's not always how many you miss, it's what particular part of the match they come in and how significant they can be. 27. Well, that wasn't a good positional shot. Planned to leave himself on the blue into the center. Still got it to the corner. Oh, made sure he got past the red this time, but too far. He was very That's conscious cool. of not leaving it short. I think this red will still cut to the left corner, but it's a thin one. Good recovery again. 33. And again, he's in no man's land. He deserved better there. That was a good shot, good recovery. A super confident Maguire would take the blue on. It looks like he's playing the Rambo. snooker come safety. Yeah, and this is the other thing about pot success. You know, he's not missed here, he's run out of position. So his pot success is not affected by that. But the break's over. Stephen Maguire, 33.
yeah just trying to push the brown to the cushion and play the snooker behind the green Meanwhile Ryan Day 2 up against Mark Williams so a good start there for the bridge end man Oh, and the miss, Steve McGuire, four, free ball. And a free ball. But didn't nudge the brown off far enough to be able to pot it. Well, you put him in, I think, from there, so <coughs> the balls don't have to go back. Yep, good shot. Just caught the reds. Well, he got the line of the shot, but not the speed. <laughs> there might just be a red. Now we'll pop to the right corner. The one above the black. Should be able to miss the black. This time a, a better pace. Good safety. Looking at a way to get to the red by the black. The yellow looks to be just in the way of that shot. Not enough side. Foul. And the miss. Steve McGuire, seven. And he's left an easy starter. Yes, yeah, so and McGuire already 25 points to the good as he comes to the table. Chance to go 2 1 in front. One. Well, he, he could have screwed to the cushion there and off for the pink, but chose to play for the more difficult black. And a good pot. Eight. Needs another one now. Just 33 points in front. Oh, and that was a good kiss, sending Steve the McGuire cue ball hits. towards that pocket. Yeah, looks like he got a kick there. Well, he sort of half apologised for the kiss you mentioned, but he was unlucky in the first place to get the kick, obviously. So, disappointing for him. But at least, as you say, he's not left Ken Doherty bang in. That's the point. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it, when you get these unexpected kicks ruining the game.
There seemed to be a lot in this match. More in this match than most of the ones we've seen in this tournament. A lot of pressure on that shot as well. And again, he's been a little fortunate there. Could have left something a lot easier than what he has done. Yes, and he's also pushed a red to the cushion, which is in his favour. That's a good pot. One. And not bad a kiss. I think the yellow will go. It's whether it will respot again, and that's what he's looking at. Maybe play down for this loose red down here just in case. Well, he thinks it doesn't spot, and it doesn't. Four. Now, if you can leave an angle on this red to play the cannon to that red by the middle pocket, it's a nice angle on the red here. It doesn't want to be straight. And that's straighter than what he wanted. Nine. Might be able to play for the black, which would be able to bring the red off from, or the pink. Ten. Looks like the pink. Too straight on the black. But he needs to put all his concentration into the pink. No good getting the cannon and missing the pink. Yep, and that's worked out very nicely. So just the brown now, you would think. 16. And that's just about where he wants to be to be able to get to the yellow. Nice angle on the yellow to get to the green, and this is the important shot. 22. Needs to leave an angle on the green to be able to either move the brown or drop in right behind it. 24. Now, he might just stab the angle to move the brown. He can certainly drop in behind it. A little kick again. And that's not where he wanted to be. Too straight. A little bit more angle. This is going to be some shot to get to the blue and pot the brown. Now, where's it going to finish? Not good. And Daddy, Again. All that work and then finishes a little too straight on the blue, on the brown. So Maguire needs brown and blue. Four. 
Well, there's not much Ken Doherty hasn't seen on the snooker table, but it doesn't make it any less disappointing. As you say, all the hard work had to try and force the brown in to get on the blue, missed it. And it's the blue that Maguire needs to leave him needing a snooker. Nine. And in goes Good the frame. pink, so Good Steve Maguire. Maguire wins. A tough old frame of snooker. Ten Do Ken Doherty had a chance to clear up, but it all went wrong on the brown, and Maguire delighted to get another chance. The Scotsman in front here in Riga. He leads by two frames to one. To lead 2-1, so in front for the second time. There will be an interval, of course, after this frame. Big crowd in, looking forward to the final which is 7.30 CET, 8.30 local time this evening. <laughs> we're wondering if the MC from last year will be back. He's a bit of a character. I'm sure if you were with us last year, you remember him. Just be tempted by this red. Better to miss it on the thick side than the thin. Missed it thin and the reason why I said that is that the cue ball would be coming down the table. Well, had a great game in the last frame, Ken Doherty. Just missed that very difficult brown. One. But played some very good shots. Some good thinking shots, so he's thinking clearly. Wanted a fuller ball contact with that red. He's still on this red to the left corner. It's but a fuller ball contact on the red would have left him with not so much to do. Nicely played. Judge that well to come out for the black. Sixteen. Seventeen. Has had a maximum break, Ken Doherty. Made it in 2012. Yes, I think we're actually legally obliged to mention that black he missed that time 24. in the Masters final. I'm sure you're delighted that we trotted that one out again. It's uh, 17 years ago now, that the final black 25. at the old conference centre. He said his legs were just shaking like jelly. Thirty. And he actually said, <laughs> he said, Ken... People have said to him, "Do you remember missing that black?" As if, as if he could ever forget it. <laughs> Nobody will ever let him forget it. That's for sure. Well, it's not going to be a maximum here, but of course, the important thing for Doherty is to get on the scoreboard again, level up, going to the interval. Just try and put the disappointment of the last frame out of his mind. That's all you can really try and do. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven, and again, I think he got a, a little bit of kick there, 
took the pace out of the cue ball. So he could play the black to the middle. Just have the seven points. Trying to hold for the red into the left centre. You could play to the corner if you can see enough of it. And that's a good attempt. Kentucky, 44. spread nicely like that Ken would like to see something safe maybe you could play the red onto the red try and get the cue ball back behind the black and that leaves the red a little closer to the cushion but the most important thing there was the cue ball close to the cushion that makes things difficult for Steve Maguire He could play the double here on this red, bring the cue ball back down the table. He's got the pace right on the cue ball, where he doesn't leave anything. That was a very good shot, that, from Steve Maguire. Trying to mess things up a little. Ken Doherty is unfortunate that both blue and pink are still available. is getting a little bit more difficult you can get the cue ball back screwing off the red that's directly above the black <laughs> I've seen something different Well, it was always going to be dangerous, that, because it was going to be leaving that red closest to the right corner. I thought he had the cue power to screw off the red directly above the black, but he obviously fancied something different. So another chance, again, Ken Doherty. This is, should be the hardest shot. Good pot, oh. and that should be the hardest shot. Everything else it should be easy from now on. <clears throat> well, Ken Doherty Six. dropping off the tour and then being given that 
That lifeboat, really, in terms of the wild card, has, uh, I think, really invigorated him. It's a reminder that it could all have been over. But my word, he's made the most of it, and every chance here to level up at the interval as he attempts to reach the final. It would be Seven. his first final for 11 years in a ranking tournament. Thirteen. Well, he's getting closer. 62, the lead. So red and the black or red and the blue Good here. Ten. Would be enough to leave Stephen needing snookers. 19. He's played a good frame here. All that table craft that he's amassed over the years coming into play. In goes the black. So it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. Ken Doherty is still the only man to have won 26. the world title at professional, amateur 27. and junior level. And clearly his career is far from over. There's the match time, 66 minutes thereabouts for the first four frames. Been very interesting stuff. Of course, Doherty could have won the last frame, but the important thing is not only winning this one, but winning it well. 32. Putting, as I say, aside the disappointment of what happened in frame three. There are the highest breaks. And, 32 and, and it's not going to improve here, but uh, he's won the frame. That's all he cares and about. And so it's honours even as they head off to the mid-session interval. A fascinating battle between these, these two stars of the game. Stephen Maguire's been ahead by the odd frame twice. Ken Doherty has pegged him back, though, for a second time. And so it's all to play for when they return after the interval. With Steve Maguire and Ken Doherty level at 2-2. And on the other table, Mark Williams also about to level up at 2-2 with Ryan Day. So Steve Maguire and Ken Doherty return Frame for five. the second half of this intriguing semi-final. Nicely set up, nicely poised at 2-2. And it's Doherty to resume. Looking to go in front for the first time, having trailed twice. There's the match time, just coming up to 67 minutes, not to at all slow. Can't see the easy red over the right corner. The one over the left, a lot more difficult. Very much missable. And he's aware that he'll be leaving a, a lot on if he misses this. Very close. Needs a bit of luck. Everybody find your seats quickly, please. <coughs> Didn't pot that one, but it was interesting. We saw the average shot times there. Doherty 20 seconds to Maguire's 26. Now, Ken Doherty's never been a slow player, but I think that shows you... That's pretty quick 20 seconds, really, considering we've had a quite a bit of safety. It shows you how positively he's been playing. But it's Maguire who's in first in the frame. One. Yeah, could have landed a little better. He's going to need the rest for the green. Well, he's a big fella, but... I think he may need the rest for the shot. No, 
now you can get there. Didn't want the kiss on the red, but just needs to pop the blue, leave the cue ball close to the blue spot for the red to the left corner. Doesn't have to do a lot with the cue ball here. Well, I'm so surprised. He made the shot so, so much more player difficult player. by playing the screw off the blue. Could have just slid the blue into the pocket. Would have had the red to the left corner. But he's feeling confident. Better chance for Ken One. Doherty. He wanted a thicker kiss on the red and he'll be disappointed with that first positional shot there. This is now missable, this pink. Good pot. Played it very well. Coming around for the red to the right corner. Pink going onto the black spot. Seven. Which helps. Eight. Well, he wanted to leave an angle, but not that much. He might decide just to drop the pink in now and play for that loose red. No, he's playing it with bottom. He's going into them. He needed to catch them half ball. Caught them a little bit too full. Kentucky, 14. Well, I know one thing. If it comes down to a test of temperament, then you'd make Ken Doherty favourite because uh, he's certainly the cooler head of the two. We saw Maguire just having a little chunter to himself in his chair after missing that blue. means a lot to both of them. Ken Doherty looking to win his first ranking title for 11 years, but Maguire, for him, it's been four years since he won the Welsh Open. Yeah, it's a long time for somebody as good as Stephen Maguire, who's still in his prime. Excellent safety. And a good return. You might decide to take the pot on here. Stun across for the pink. Could be forced into it. Mm. 
Great pot. Great pot. One. And just about on the pink. What a terrific pot that was. Uh, followed by a miss pink. Require one. He wasn't ideally on it, but still expected him to pop that pink. Now, has he managed to cover the easy red, the straight red to the corner? This is more difficult. But right in the centre. Cue ball just about held up. One loose red, maybe two. Oh, he could go into them. Just be able to get the black back on its spot here. Six. Well, drop of the shoulders tells us that he's not on the pink which is what he played for. I thought he was going to play for the black there. But maybe he couldn't get to the next red from the black. Can do six. Now I'll be disappointed. It was a good leave. Things are getting a little bit nervy again. Maguire missing the pink and Kendo because he's not getting position on it. This safety shot hit too thick. One thing that never leaves Kendo to do is that ring craft he's got. Another very good safety. He could have took the red onto the left middle, but he knew he was leaving that red to the right corner. It's not the red he wanted to hit. I think he's left a half chance here. The red is onto the middle. And he might be able to screw the cue ball onto the red below it. Stay on the pink. One. Nicely done. Spider makes the shot a lot more difficult. Oh, and that 
that's a good touch. And the pink going on the black spot really does him a favour. This is a great chance now. 22 points the lead. Little cannon to that red next to the black might be in order. Well, the reason I said the red next to the black, that would have left him on the red to the right corner. 14. By playing the cannon to the black, he's covered himself. Plays the cannon to the red above, nothing can go wrong. So a let off. Stephen Maguire. Yeah, and there were just signs that Doherty was starting to take control. But uh, he's back in his seat, waiting for another chance. Just signs he was slightly getting under Maguire's skin. Well, the cue ball's finished under the cushion, but I think he'd have preferred to have missed the brown. There's a half chance here the red will go to that left corner. It's tough. But had it gone in, it could have won the frame. Great pot again, and One. a pretty good kiss, nicely on the yellow, he's going to need the rest, but he's pretty good with the rest. Another very good pot, clean, never touch the sides. A little heavy. Three. Things are never easy. Touching ball. Couldn't have landed anywhere. Worse, really. So, touching ball called. Trying to get the cue ball in behind the green, I would expect. And what about that for a shot? That was an excellent shot. Tap on the table from his sporting opponent. Well, the encouraging thing for Maguire's supporters there is that he just took a, a deep breath and played a good shot. There wasn't frustration in the shot choice, far from it. Foul in the miss. Steve McGuire, seven. Now, I don't think that will be going back. Well, I don't know if you've got a kick there, but there was a lot of pressure on that shot. Let's have a look again. Well, he thinks he did, and if he thinks he got a kick, then maybe he got a kick. It could be very expensive. One. Had to use the black, but another great chance.
8. Nine. Was it the best positional shot on the red? It should make absolutely sure now with this yellow to come down for the reds, give himself a chance of a couple of reds. And that's the shot. Would have definitely been on the red to the middle had he not come far enough. Twelve. Thirty in front, thirty-six with the pink, so another red needed to lead for the first time in this match. Yeah, no need to play the cannon to the black. The pink would go back onto its own spot, could finish up snookered. Just make sure of the pink and leave himself on this red. Eighteen. Well, McGuire played think. such a good shot to snooker him behind the green. Did yield a chance, but then got that kick on the red. Doherty stepped in. And he's going to be two frames away from the final. 25. 26. And what it shows is, you know, that wildcard decision was a really good one, because... He's not making up the numbers on the tour, far from it. He's here challenging now for this title. 33. 35. And he looks 35. really confident. I thought that right from the start against Gary Wilson on Friday. 38. Ken Doherty, 38. Steve McGuire concedes, and Ken Doherty, for the first time in this semi-final, is in front, and the next frame is a big one. If he can win that, he becomes a big favourite to progress to the final. So Ken Doherty leads Steve McGuire here in Riga by three frames to two. Steve McGuire at the break. As I said before the break, this frame, a big one now. If it goes 4-2, pressure really on the Scotsman. Still 3-2 to Mark Williams on the other table against Ryan Day, although Day is well in front in frame six. Oh, thunderous kick. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? I'll do the red yeah. as well. Well... It's Isn't just it? not on. I think Maguire's saying you can clean them, but what's the point? We'll get another one soon, and it's true. I mean, look at this. This is horrendous. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't come down to a kick that costs them dearly in this semi-final. Looks like it will go. Yeah, that's a good shot, opening the reds. Yeah, the red was a little too tight. Nine. 
16. Seventeen. He's made three maximums for the record, Steve Maguire, the most recent Shanghai Masters last year. Well, force that cue ball round nicely for this red to the centre, which we will bring him back to the black again. Could play for the pink to the right middle. Twenty-five. Well, I prefer to play for the pink to the left corner. Now, can I get to another red from there? straight on the pink so I'm taking the more difficult blue oh that was a super shot and deserved the good kiss on the red yeah one thing about Steve Maguire he doesn't okay. back away from a big shot Yeah, and that was a big shot, make no mistake. Now there could be a red in the middle of that cluster that will go, which would mean he, he wouldn't need to go into them just yet. And that's worked out okay. 38. And to say that it means so much to both of these players that they really are giving everything to it. I thought the nerves would have played a much bigger part, but looks like they're both up for this. Thirty nine. Just overrun slightly with position. Didn't want to be bridging over the reds. But again, forcing that cue ball through the reds, played it well. Yes, he's got them in his mercy, you would say, although uh, we've seen so many kicks, you know, that's a big concern, I'm sure, in the back of his mind. And if you were to miss from here, they're all there for Ken Doherty. Well, that didn't go in cleanly at all. And not being 52. on the right red. He's got a thin cut to the right corner. Very nearly missed this. Another good recovery. Could have done without the kiss. Now, has he got an angle on the brown to come back down for the reds? Got an easy snooker in behind the brown. If he hasn't got the angle. Seventy-five. 
Stephen Maguire, catch it thin 53. enough. Yeah, that all sort of went wrong unexpectedly. He started off nearly missing that black. Wasn't ideal on the red. Had a little kiss, which left him awkward and hasn't got the snooker. And he hasn't won the frame yet. Three three on the other table, the other semi final. Ryan Day, he's level with Mark Williams there. So two tense matches in progress here. Well, Stephen bringing one of the safe reds into play there, and leaving a half chance at a long red to the right corner and left corner. Well, is this the plant? He thought it was. And the kiss on the blue leaves Stephen Maguire with another chance. Not a gimmick. Again, that's a very good pressure shot and should make no mistake this time. 54 points the lead. Just needs a couple of reds. probably the worst positional shot he's played. He can still pot a red to the right corner. But it should have been so much easier. Well, if he can get this one to the left corner, that's okay. He's okay there. Seven. Gonna need a pink and a, another red. This match still very much on a knife edge. Thirteen. Fourteen. Frame ball. Applause for frame ball. it even more exciting is that both these players desperately need this title 19 well all four do but especially these two well I think you can just see what it means to them just uh, every ball is uh, like match ball almost and of course there are other rewards if you win the title you get in the champion of champions that's a big money event £50,000 could potentially get you to the Masters with uh, doing well in other tournaments as well and tournaments like the World Grand Prix Players Championship coming up later in the season so it's not just about the title it's all the benefits you get from it as well 34 
35. Yeah, it's nice to play a few shots without the pressure as well. That can mean a lot. So it made the 53 break. He had another chance after Doherty took on that plant. And Stephen Maguire delighted to kill the frame off and level up. So for the third time now in the match, the semi-final all square, with a possible three frames to play, Stephen Maguire and Ken Doherty level at three frames all. In Doherty and Stephen Maguire, Maguire's just one frame six. First of five reaches the final tonight. Good break off. Caught it a little too thin. So an early chance for Ken Doherty. He knew he'd missed it. That was a chance. Just little shots like that, that can rob you of confidence. shot out of his mind as quickly as possible. And he's straight back at the table. I thought he was going to screw that red in and come round the back of the black, play up for the blue. It wasn't on a colour, had it dropped. One. Now, another chance for Ken Doherty to open those reds up. If he could catch the end red, the furthest one to the right, half ball. Well, that's worked out okay. That second kiss Eight. on the red. Well, Doherty's highest break in the match, 52. He knows this would be a golden time to improve on that and make Maguire think about the red he's just missed. There you see Maguire's highest break, 58, but he's also had a, a 53 in the match. He's overcooked it, but he's still on the red. 11. Meanwhile, Ryan Day, 4-3 up now against Mark Williams. Ryan Day looking to reach his fifth ranking final, but, of course, crucially win his first title. Twelve. Just overscrewed it slightly. Would have liked an angle on the blue to have gone into the reds. But just gone a little too far. Wanted to come the other side 15. of the pink there. Just got a little bit too much stunning to the cue ball. But he can reach it. And that made a difference. 16. Now, does it go into them here? Or does it play for that loose red just above the cue ball? Twenty-three. 
24. Similar scenario. He could play for that loose red over the left side of the table or go into them. He's got the angle on the yellow to go into them. Good pot. Just didn't catch the reds thick enough. He was so 26. close to playing the perfect shot there. He catches that red full. He's every chance of being on reds. Got that cue 26. ball anywhere near the bot cushion. Unforced error there that he could pay for. Great shot. He's knocked in some cracking long balls. Yeah, really good pot, but it was unlike Ken Doherty to play a poor safety and give him the chance. Well, he's seen a plant. Eight. But there's distance between the two reds. Unless there's another plant there. No, there isn't. So there's distance between these two reds and he's got to hit this well. Nine. Well, he made the plant, but didn't get good position. And if he's going to keep the break going, it's either a big screw off the yellow or the brown. Ping pong. Yes, he announced that he was uh, playing safe on the pink with a Nine. big sigh there, Maguire. Just couldn't keep it going. Every frame has felt like a decider, and it. it Probably the case will get a decider eventually. But it's been tense right from the start and remains so as we approach the finish. Well, the red touch in the cushion helped. But what a brave shot to take on. Oh, too thick. And that's what he thinks of that shot. Well, a vicious cue bang from Maguire, letting us know he wasn't happy.
here we go. Some players are better than others at hiding their emotions. But he has got another chance here. Yeah, he missed that one by a long way, didn't he? Now, can he see the black? He can open the pack of reds from the black. Can't see enough of the black to get to the potting angle, which would have allowed him to play the cannon to the reds. This is much more difficult from the blue. And it's got a little it's nervy one again. One. Well, he's lucky that he's hit the green. He did apologise because, you know, that cue ball could have come round and split the reds. Yeah, it was like, like I was saying in the previous frame, it's like every ball, his match ball, it, every ball seemed really important. Well, has he developed a plant there, Stephen Maguire? The green came down, touched the reds. There wasn't a plant there before because they would have both played for it. But there might be a three ball plant on here. Here we go, it's a plant that cost him in the previous round. The difference in that frame though was that he did play as a shot to nothing, caught the blue. At this time he's got the white at least back down to bolt. Yep, and a reasonably good safety. Got to play this with a lot of right-hand side to miss the green and pink. They both know how big a frame this is. Well, this is a thin cut. Oh, it was so close, I thought it was in. The difference between winning and losing. I thought this was in all the way. Where they're going to finish. Not good for Stephen Maguire. That red going right over the pocket. It's always risky to play that kind of shot, screwing back to ball, sending the red into the reds. You never know what's going to happen to them. And this could be very expensive. One. Didn't want the kiss, obviously. And 
This is a big pink and I feel sure he'll take it on. Chance to win the frame. Good pot. Good pot. You could see him nod to himself that, yep, I've got to take it on. I may as well go for it full-blooded. Yes, very encouraging how well so, he cued that. That was, uh, you know, you're forgiven for twitching on that, but he didn't at all. He struck it beautifully. But there's still pressure really on every ball here. He's in a really strong position now to go 4-3 in front, but he's got to close it out. And we don't want his kicks at this stage. Seemed to be a big bounce off the right side cushion. 14. But still on the red to the middle. Fifteen. Still needs a couple of reds to be sure. 21. Red. Yes, tense mm -hmm. times for Ken Doherty, but he'll be loving this. Being back in the, the heat of competition, it's what it's all about. 22. Pink to lead by 43, with 43 on. Just checking the scores. The red and McGuire needs three snookers, and that's without a colour. So the Irishman 29. is one frame away from a place in the final. What a story that would be. And he's done it in style as well. Took that brave pink on to the yellow pocket. And this is the result. One more Ken frame Doherty's to go for Ken Doherty to reach his first ranking final for 11 years. He's back in front in Riga, a fascinating contest between these two. And Doherty just geeing himself up there in his chair. One more frame to go. He leads Stephen Maguire 4-3. And if he does win the next one, he'll be through to tonight's final. This is live. Oh, he's just missed. He's just missed. That was a great chance to win, and the red has stayed out. He's 38 Find in front. It. 31. Golden chance to win. He left the red on the lip of the pocket. Mark Williams looking to level up, so uh, we'll keep you updated with that. It's on the Eurosport player, as you can see, but that was a great chance for Ryan Day there to seal victory as Ken Doherty waits for Stephen oh. Maguire to return. I did say that the feeling it could go to a decider, but that's not necessarily going to happen. Doherty took that frame out very well in the end. Yeah. He certainly did, and that pink to the yellow pocket. He just had a little nod at the shot, saying, OK, I've got to take it on. Let's go for it, full-blooded. And full credit to him. Frame eight. Steve McGuire to break. So Doherty needs one, Maguire needs two to reach tonight's final. So can Steve Maguire force a decider? He's got to win this frame to do so, otherwise it's Dublin's Ken Doherty into the final later this evening. Yeah, the point of no return for that man. Well, it's always easy to stay calm when you're winning things and always competing for titles. But when you, when you haven't been there for a long time, difficult to control your nerves. And 
it's going to come down to that for both of them. In fact, all four. <coughs> Caught it much too thin, much, much, much too thin, nearly missed the ball. Oh, and it's just run safe, but I think the other one is potable. But it preferred that easy red over the middle. This is a very difficult pot, this. He's missed a couple from this distance. Nicely done. <laughs> Didn't quite have the angle to nudge the reds open and stay on this red. Right. Well, he Nine. took the risk. And if the pink goes, hmm, judging by the body language, it doesn't. And if he was right behind the shot, you might be able to drop that in. Play. It's a yeah. shot you don't often see the players playing. Going into the reds from a red. Steve McGuire, nine. Here it is again. Decided to go into the reds. He thought he was going to skim off them. Oh, well, that's just what he didn't want. And he's left one to the middle. How important is that going to be? Well, meanwhile, Ryan Day, despite missing that red earlier in frame eight, is about to win, it would seem. Standing over the pink. He still needs the pink. He's 13 in front. So this is match ball. Oh, he's missed it. Not there yet. One. One. Well, incredible, isn't it? <laughs> he hasn't left it, though. And we'll keep you informed. Oh, well, talk about drama. Wherever you look, it's turned into a really tense session, hasn't it? Point is, though, when you're at the table, it's in your hands, and it's in Ken Doherty's hands right now. time just two hours eight yeah it's not been slow they both attack that's why it's not been safety dominated nine now there's a red just above the black and if he could land on that in such a way as to open the reds and play for the black again He hasn't come far enough. Well, meanwhile, Ryan Day <coughs> is seeing if this pink will pass the black to this 16. pocket. Remember, Williams can tie that frame at the moment, force a respot. But if the pink goes in, it's Day first into the final.
Obviously didn't fancy it. Now, has he come just a little bit too far? 24. To play the shot that I said. Yeah. Oh, Ken. He took his eye off the ball. He just took that for granted. That wasn't pressure. That was just careless. He was looking at the cannon more than the pot. Got to keep your concentration. Great One. pot. So Maguire gets another chance. It. He's left it a little too straight. He could have left himself a better angle than this. Played it well. Nine. Well, Mark Williams has won the frame. He must have got a snooker on pink and black or got a foul because he's won the frame. So they're heading into a decider. We saw Ryan Day had a chance to win it, missed the pink. Oh, that's an excellent attempt at opening the reds up. 16. Deserve better. Stun run through with left hand side on the cue ball. Difficult shot. And deserve so much more. Look at the side on the cue ball to get into the reds. Just not thick enough. Stephen McGuire, 16. One point in it then, in this eighth frame. Anxious looks there from Steve McGuire to see if he'd left a red. As quiet as possible, please. Thank you. Great speed on the cue ball. What big moments they are for Ken Doherty. And indeed for Stephen Maguire. Good return of safety from where he was. This red down the left side of the table. Well, it's potable, but it's so risky to take on. But he could afford to take that risk. Wouldn't lose frame a match, whereas if Maguire was taking the shot and missed it, it could cost him the match. This could win him the match. There's a big difference in who's taking this shot on. So, he leaves the chance for Stephen Maguire. Oh, well. I thought he'd miss that one. Bit side doorish. He stayed down, he stayed down. He wasn't sure either. But this is a great chance, really is. Doesn't need that Eight. safe red and that left side cushion, in fact, probably does, does him a favour being there. 
Takes the pressure off. Just asking for the black to be clean. Doesn't want to kick at this stage. Theo Selbertinger steps in. He's gone. Well, yeah, he steps out again to find a cloth <laughs> just to make sure he's clean. Well, he's got this loose red still remaining. Thirty-two. The two reds closest together. I'm not sure if one of those will pop to the middle. So Mike. Too well leaving an angle here to play the cannon. 33. Well, it, he's let the cue ball travel a little too far to play the natural cannon. <laughs> 34, the difference. So must go to the middle or the corner. He'll need a red and a colour. Forty. It's still anybody's. Steve McGuire, 40. Although where the blue and the other red is, McGuire, really favourite for this frame. One. Great pot, terrific pot, and he's got the angle on the black to play up for that red near the box corner pocket. Eight. Well, I think he played the cannon to the blue. Try and leave the cue ball on the cushion for the red, but completely miss it. it. Didn't want the angle on that middle pocket, but it's worked out okay. 33 in it, 43 on. Uh, 
and that's worked out okay. Well, he doesn't want to leave Steve Maguire with a chance to pot this red nearest the left corner. So sending the cue ball into Bork shouldn't be an option. Maybe just play the cue ball to that middle pocket bump. Yeah, that's okay. Anxious looks from Kent. Taking the risk. Taking the risk on leaving the red on, and I cannot, I cannot believe he's played that shot. Could have just pushed the red past the pink, left the cue ball near the middle pocket. Oh, he's got too much left hand side on the cue ball. And he could really do with the colour. The problem is that it's not easy to pot the green and brown at this stage and doesn't want to miss the green and brown and leave a chance so I think this is the fair shot to play just bring the blue into play and try and play the snooker behind the green or brown and that is one. 32 points the difference oh he hasn't got the snooker But a big shot. Yeah, because there's nothing psyched now. There's nothing on cushions. Oh, he couldn't have got any closer, could he? And he's got the kiss, and it's on to the middle. So this is a chance to win oh. for Ken Doherty. Oh, what a chance. He couldn't have got closer to potting that, but it was the kiss on the pink as well. That's what's possibly done him in here. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, what a chance that was. A surprise that he was obviously conscious of holding for blue or pink, but uh, expected him to get it. I'm sure he did. get a better chance than that. Well, Maguire just needs the red, and it's snooker's required. Oh, 
So it looks like we're going to a decider. One. Yep, and we always thought we were going to do that, didn't we? Yes, Ken Doherty, he had a good chance. We'll never know if it had cleared up, but to, to miss the first red was a surprise, certainly. But he's going to have to just refocus on the last frame now. And that's going to be the hard bit, David, to be able to put that red out of his mind and play the decider. Thanks. Well, the only good news is Maguire's bang under it as well, because this would mean a lot to him to get to the final tonight. So it's all set up for one more frame to decide it. Well, he might play on Six. here. Three snookers needed. Steve Maguire, six, and the frame. But he's in a snooker, so he's going to concede. And uh, he had a chance there. He definitely had a chance to Ken Doherty, but Steve Maguire takes the frame. And so one more frame to decide who goes through to tonight's final. There's never been more than one frame in it, and it's all on. One more to decide it. Steve Maguire, four. Ken Doherty, four. Welsh affair. Ryan Day had a chance to win 5 3. He's in the balls here with a chance to win 5 4. He leads by 21 with three reds left. This is a really good chance to reach his fifth ranking fifth final four. as he attempts to win his first ranking title. Maguire is uh, really interested in what's happening here. Having a look over the, the little fence there, as it were. So it's red and the black he needs. 61. And this is good stuff from Day, considering very nearly won the last frame. 62. But just needs the black, and he'll be in the final, barring snookers. Great win over his great friend and great champion, Mark Williams. Could do with the red as well, and then it will be over. 69. Yeah, good break to win it. Yeah, it takes good character to forget about that pink that he missed in the last frame to make this break to win the match. 70. Yeah, there goes the red, so it's going to be Ryan Day first into the final tonight but who will he play the handshake before the decider Ken Doherty to get us underway 4-4 the winner plays Ryan Day in the Riga Masters final later this evening You can hear the applause for Ryan Day just wrapping up victory against Mark Williams. Match time here, two hours, 18 minutes. How much longer? Well, one more frame, but how will it pan out? It's been a nervy match, but high quality as well at times. And that's a cracking red to get in with. Yeah, he's potted some good long balls, hasn't he? But the kiss wasn't to his advantage. It was a good pot. Couldn't quite hold for one of the bulk colours. Had he potted it a little thicker, maybe you would. But here comes a big shot. Well, he played to open the reds up. Steve McGuire, one. And screw the cue ball to the cushion, but miss the reds. and It's not a disaster, that. Could have pushed a red over the corner.
well, come very close, but now he's left a red. And you never know. There's only a couple of reds out, but you just never know if you're going to get back to the table once you leave a red. The problem is you've got no control over it, sat in your seat. One. Again, very positive, the red he took on. Knocked in a lot from distance. He has, his long potting has been excellent. Can't fault his bravery for taking that one on either. Long pot success favouring Maguire. Yeah, he's averaging, as you see, 6 out of 10, but he's taken a lot on, so he's potted a lot. This was uh, the latest one, just uh, caught the near jaw there, stayed out. Great attempt that, wasn't it? You could just seem willing there Six. for something to happen, just to land on a red, but it didn't happen. Well, he's got a very good cue ball. Cantati six. And this is a very tough red to the left corner. If he should take it on. Maybe he could just drop the cue ball in the jaws of that left corner pocket. The cue ball's going nowhere. If he takes the red on, it's going into that cluster of reds if he can miss the two reds. The problem is if he plays the safety shot back down the table, he leaves the red on. So I can't see any other shot really than to play off the red, leave that cue ball in the jaws of that left corner pocket. I think he's taking it on. What a great pot. What a great pot. One. And he, I think he's on the black, you know. Well, if ever a shot deserves something, that was it. Cannon into the red, and then the cue ball has come round onto the black. It's not easy, this black, by any means. Played a great safety shot, Kent. Well, just getting the queue in here is the hard bit. And then he's got to get everything out again, even if he does pot the black. He's missed these a little thick. He's missed it thick again. That was a very difficult shot. Steve McGuire, one. Had he potted it, he may have been on the red. It would have travelled a little further, the cue ball. And it could be worthwhile taking this red on and screwing the cue ball off the two side cushions for the black. He wouldn't leave anything. Well, has he left another chance at this red? Or has that red come to save him? Well, the red itself will go. 
half chance then. Yes, and we know he feels confident taking these on. He's potted plenty. Another great shot. One. But he could have done with a kiss on the blue and brown. Well, already in this final frame, he's potted two fantastic reds that deserve to win the frame of match. But it's not getting any easier, this uh, match. He doesn't want to risk rolling up to the green because if he misses the snooker, he leaves that long red on. So he's got to try and stop Ken Doherty playing a shot to nothing off that red. Yellow ball. And maybe dead on the cushion behind the yellow spot. Yeah, somewhere round about there. Has it come too far? He's pushed a red on, I think, to the right corner. We'll tell by his face. What do you think, David? Yes, well, the angle confirms that you could see there he was not impressed. He'd be less impressed if the red goes in. What a tough shot. Well, that was a tough shot. But he may have got away with it, you know. Looks like the red will go. Only half of the pocket, but it will go. One. Well, as Ken Doherty looks on here, he may in the back of his mind still be thinking about the red he missed, the last red in the previous frame when he did have a chance to potentially clear up and win. It was a red to the left middle. Again, just a little bit jawish, but it dropped. Seven. Just in off that uh, side jaw. Eight. Can get the black back on its spot. Twenty-three. Now he's got the perfect angle to go into them, and if he can cannon the red directly above the black half ball, he should be on reds. 
Now we can get the red to the left corner without going into them. But that looks like a big bounce off that side cushion. 31. But he's still on the red. Thirty-two. It's back to reality, isn't it, for these guys? They've had a quite a, a lengthy break, really, by the standards of most professions since the World Championship. But uh, it's back into the, the big time, it's back into the action and the pressure and the tension that comes with it. And here comes a big shot. Thirty-nine. Now, can he get to the black? Or is the cue ball going into that red above it? Forty. Mm, a little harder would have been nice. What a great run he's had of course he wanted to continue to the final Ken Doherty but uh, the next few moments will be crucial didn't want the kiss and that has turned this shot into a very difficult one with no guarantee of being on a colour I wouldn't be surprised if he played the safety here If he took this on and missed it, it could leave for him a match. Well, helps if he's not hampered. I don't think Kendo because he wants to for him to take it on just in case he gets it and gets on a colour. Now where's it gonna finish? Well, he's on the pink. If he pots the pink, he only needs one more red. It's a bit of a stretch, though. Yeah, good shot. Oh, but the kiss. Well, it's just getting harder and harder to continue. Needs one more red. But which one? Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Just needed to be on a red. Never thought about the cannon. Could have avoided it. Just put in a little bit of stun on the cue ball. But he's not on a red. Tough red to the middle. Oh, again, so close to being in the final. 54. Well, that red was on its way in, but it didn't go in. 51 in it, still 59 on. It had a go at going in. Just caught the jaw, though. <laughs> and now he's got to sit and wait and hope. Great pops. Where's the cue ball going to finish? Ideal. That's the answer. What a kiss that is. Well, it's a chance. It's another chance for Ken Doherty. He had one in the last frame. It's a great chance, this. Just that awkward red over the right side of the table. But the nerves are really jangling. 
for both of them. I mean, Maguire's pulled off some great pots to keep Seven. things going in this frame, but suddenly he's in that chair watching on. Eight. And to hit it by a long way. Can play for that red in the bark area. He's a little heavy. He's a little heavy. He's too heavy. Maguire will be coming back to the table. in he can where's that cue ball going to finish 16 <laughs> well incredible that was he, at the moment without a colour he can only tie obviously he pots something here he can still win that's why he was looking up at the scoreboard before he played this shot but really had no idea where the white was going to finish. Well, it can pot the brown, which does him a favour because it frees the brown then, goes back on its spot. But this isn't a gimme either. Good pot. Thirty-one behind. Does he go for this? He hopes he doesn't. No. Well, it's been 20. a real journey for Ken Dockley to get this far, from being relegated from the tour, relying on the, the wild card from World Snooker, but he knows that Maguire needs this red for victory. Fun. And it's been a hard-earned victory, make no mistake. What a battle. What a great match. And neither player des deserved to lose. Yes, and Ken Doherty has proven again what a great campaigner, what a great champion he is. He'd be disappointed Thanks. having come this far, not to quite make it to the final. But it bodes well for the rest of the season. Ten. That he can uh, produce a performance like this in the first tournament of the campaign. He's qualified for the China Championship. He'll be at the World Cup with Fergal O'Brien for Republic of Ireland next week. 13. As I say, although he had a chance here, the previous frame was the one. He had that last red to the middle, chance to clear up, just didn't quite happen. 17. So our final will be Stephen Maguire against Ryan Day. 22. It took some winning, didn't it? It was a real battle between two great players, great champions. It would have meant a lot, clearly, to Ken Doherty to reach the final, but a great performance in Riga from him. In the end, though, it's Scotland's Stephen Maguire who beats him 5-4, and he will play Ryan Day for the title later this evening.